This is End Zone, a world apart. It is a very much a Banished-like game, uh, and you guys know I've put a lot of time into Banished. I am four, no, five, four or five hours into this game right now, and it is uh, it, it's it's a work in progress still for me. Um, the game is is definitely punishingly difficult to get started. Uh, even though I did the tutorial, and the tutorial is very forgiving because it gives you bonus resources every time you complete a, a task. It feels like I'm approaching this as if I'm approaching this like a, as if I'm playing uh, Banished, um, where you can kind of build a couple things and kind of chill, relax a little bit. Uh, and, and in this game, it feels like you are constantly building stuff and not related to speed. It's not because I'm running the game too quickly or anything, because it does have like one, two, and three speeds similar to, to Banished, Oxygen included, and other city builders and whatnot. Um, but it definitely feels like, I mean, this this is a dying colony right now because we have no food. Uh, I had a drought that came in at season eight and that ended up wipe, wiping out my uh, uh, my colony. Uh, right now I'm sitting at the point where I've, I have nine adults, um, no children. These adults are probably getting pretty old at this point so they're not gonna be reproducing. And so this is basically a bust. This is essentially a bust. There, there doesn't seem to be a lot of wiggle room for how you need to start off the game. Uh, and this is not necessarily a bad game. Like I said, a bad thing. This, like I said, this is very much a work in progress for me. Um, completing, you'll complete the tutorial, the three hour tutorial, and you'll feel like, damn, I got this. But you have to, again, you have to keep in mind that the game was giving you bonus resources every time you completed a task, making everything easier. Um, and when you get into the real world, you're going to have more problems. Uh, so th I'm going to actually be playing this game a lot th uh, after this. Um, and I'll probably record some and post it similar to like, how I did with Banished. Uh, just kind of record my progress and everything and just kind of show you guys how this game evolves because a game, a city builder like this, uh, Definitely requires way more hours than a typical, you know, platformer or a typical roguelike or whatever, uh, because there's so many, so much, so many concepts you have to like kind of get a grasp of and, and different balances you need to strike and everything. Um, so let me show you guys kind of the general like where I screwed up here. Uh, so this is my second playthrough on this exact seed. I kind of like this seed because your character, you're, you're uh, you start off with your bus wreck here. Uh, real close to a, uh, a lake, and there's another lake over here, a smaller one. Um, now, even when I re-rolled this, the same drought came on Season 8. I didn't realize that the actual droughts, or the actual uh, seasons, you can see the bottom here, were actually still tied to, to uh, the seed. So that's great news, because now, if I restart this seed again, I'll know what's come. I'll know that in Season 8 there's going to be a drought. Um, there's a million configuration options that you can set up before you actually generate your seed. I could make this easier, but I opted to just go for the normal gaming experience. And if you read the reviews, you'll see in some of the reviews, they mentioned how the game feels like you're you feel like you're rushed after the game is rushed you feel like you're rushed where you're constantly having to do this and click this and do that and all that where you can't actually sit back and just kind of relax and enjoy the game uh, and that's something i remember about banish is that you can have a process going you just kind of like kind of sit back and just chill and relax um and you don't really get that here, and it's, this is this feels like it's much more of a challenge. Now, it, it is very similar to Banish in a million ways. Um, they, I think, even that somebody even said that the devs even said that they're inspired by Banished, and this, this, I mean, obviously. <laughs> uh, I will say the UI though is a little bit different, um, and by a little bit I mean like a lot. One thing about about Banish is it kind of had this whole Eve thing going, where you can just basically pop open all of your different you know, all of your different menus and just have those things in, like, just available at all times. Um, this game goes for a much cleaner uh, kind of approach, uh, similar to, like, Oxygen Not Included, where you have, you know, a bunch of tiles and everything you could bring up. Boom, boom, boom. Right, bring up these, uh, these menus. Uh, you also have different overlays, again, similar to... Uh, to other games where you could kind of pull these up and see, you know, this is terrestrial radiation. So it's like how much radiation is in the area you could see, uh, which by the way, radiation is one of the things that sets apart from, uh, from banished, right? Cause this is a post nuclear, um, nuclear, like a, a, a cataclysmic, you know, situated, whatever, something happened. And then, then now everything's basically fall out and everything. Uh, there's no rad rats. There's no nothing like that. Um, but there is radiation you have to, you have to tend to. This is soil mo moisture, uh, which is kind of cool setup because you have to actually build things to keep your soil moist whenever you're, uh, you know, taking care of a, um, uh, like an orchard or a farm or something. Uh, let me see what else is there. Other overlays. Oh, uh, yes, this is happiness. 
Uh, happiness is a big deal because you see this yellow thing right here. Anything built within this range here is going to uh, basically suffer a hit to happiness, and that's going to affect the you know your your uh, uh, your colonists. Um, and then there's power, which is something you end up getting into, not necessarily immediately, that's for sure, <laughs> but later on. Um, now the game uh, does release, uh, when you see this today, uh, this was recorded on Monday, um, uh, the previous Monday. So it's Thursday is when the game releases, March 20, uh, or March 18th, and uh, I'm recording this on the 15th. Just to give you an idea of where we're at, this is not a very early, this is not an early, early look into early access. This is this is going to be a essentially final release, uh, maybe outside of a few small changes. So let me go ahead and do this. Let me go ahead and restart this, and, and we're gonna uh, just kind of double back and see if I can if I can save this. Uh, and I do like this, by the way, that you can just restart the same seed. Just like this. Um, I don't know if this is. A, I can't remember if this is a banished option, uh, where you, if you mess something up, you could just restart the same seed, like the same right in the right in the main menu here. Uh, but it's kind of handy when you're first starting out because you will probably be starting over very often. Now, what I screwed up last time, what the first time around was that I had. Um, let's go and pause. Um, was I had water coming. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have enough water coming for the first drought and the lake dries up and like literally literally dries up and so I had no water I also had fishing going on so I, I so I would have run out of food anyways even if I survived the uh, the drought itself so then the second time around I was like cool I'm gonna get some water get a cistern going and just boom boom boom, boom just like had a bunch of dudes just loading up water great and lots of water and I was like well instead of going fishing I'm gonna go out and gather resources out here because you can actually go through and go to build tasks and then go to gather plants you can see there's plants and all this stuff out here and I was like, I'll just gather a lot of plants well I didn't gather gather enough through this route before I ended up getting the drought and then all the plants dried up and they were gone so there's a lot of stockpiling you have to do to survive a drought and the first drought is going to come at season eight and so we're going to hit that fairly quickly definitely within this episode here and we'll see if i could survive that see season eight then we're in good shape but we'll see so your, your settlers here let me actually go and get these guys started on a couple of things uh, first let me go and uh, set up a couple of builders we'll set up like two or three uh, we're gonna have the rest of the folks uh, let me go and pause again uh, have them gather all resources from like this area here just to give some basic starting resources and and just just to get things moving here i'm actually going to build a dirt road that goes all the way out since i've already played this seed now this is the third freaking time uh, i'm gonna build a road that goes out to here and i'm also gonna build another road that goes out to here uh because there's resources in, on either side that we're going to be collecting and, and the roads just i mean as you know they give you a um uh a boost in speed so uh then i'm gonna build a uh, a fishing hut a cistern probably sister or uh, not cistern dang it water uh water tower oops sorry not water tower that cost plastic and i don't i can't have that i don't have that right now let me see so yeah we'll build this guy and then right across the street we'll build a cistern that way they don't have to travel very far and then we'll also put a right on the road there gotta make it neat um, and then we're gonna go ahead and build logistically here. There we go. And then we'll go right from here from door to door there Cool, so that's a good start now. Uh, they're gonna be complaining about not having enough cabins um, You have to be careful with cabins. I've noticed that cabins um, These guys reproduce very quickly and this also adds to the you know the game kind of rushes you a little bit like it kind of forces you to like constantly be staying on top of everything you can't really sit back and relax and enjoy the game uh is because the reproduction rate is really really high it's really hard to, there is a way to strike a balance but when you're first starting out you're gonna be you're gonna be sitting here with like 300 apm just trying to trying to keep up with like with how quickly these guys are just banging out kids dude they're just popping out kids left and right it's so fast so here's the way it works in a house they will reproduce like mad, okay? In a shelter, they will not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to set this thing up so that way I can moderate how quickly these guys are reproducing by having a shelter in just like two or maybe three houses or whatever. Just a basic setup like this. Uh, and let me see, is my road going? Where's my road? Let me see, I've got a couple of guys building. No water guys. Yeah, let's get the water guys going. We're good for food and everything just to get started. Okay, this, so this is done, right? There's no resources in the area. We'll pause and click on this. Boy, it's really hard to click on. Uh, we're gonna change the field of work. We'll move them out here. Click all this stuff. Again, more scrap, more materials, more stuff that we could use. Uh, and food as well. So, and then we'll go ahead and build a... 
Let me see. A fishing hut. I'm not gonna be able to hunting lodge just yet because that also like it dries up, I think. Like like animals don't start coming or don't come around anymore. I'm not sure about that. But definitely this setup because it's very, very close. They're all very close to each other to each other. Let me see logistics. Uh temporary storeroom. I think this is probably necessary just to you know keep it close by. That way, you know, the food boom, 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 like that. Um, the road's slowly going down, just like Vanish, they go on, they sometimes build random parts of it. Uh, yeah, I can actually tell them to build something next if I wanted to. I could go here and say, build this next, right? Um, but I won't, because I want them just to kind of, right now, just build things as needed. Actually, you know, this will be built next, which it looks like it's about there anyway, scrap. So yeah, there are, there are a number of different resources that you can get, uh, just off the land, and that's gonna be wood, water, and, um, and scrap. So you see scrap piles all over the place. So these scrap piles, you need to have a scrap, um, uh, a scrap collector, which is resources, scrap, scrap yard. There we go. And this thing here will allow you to uh, pick up these larger pieces of scrap. The, right now, the people can only just go and just gather, like, you know, just smaller pieces of scrap here and there. Um, your, so your, your bus wreck here act also acts as a storage facility. So that's nice. You can just kind of have this nice little storage facility to get things, uh, to get things moving over here. But again, this is a pretty long trek. Like, look how long it takes for these guys to get down at two x speed. So, uh, the road will help with this, of course. Uh, but are they? Are they? Is this guy gonna build this fucking floor? I should know the builder. Let's swap another builder here. Fisher. Okay, let's get a fisher. Okay, so anybody that's a settler is gonna do the tasks. Okay, so like I have a task to go and collect all these resources and everything. Uh, settlers will do that. We have a number of, um, what, what, three of them are going to do that, and uh, four of the four guys are going to be building. Uh, are we short on resources? Like, we're short on wooden scrap, so actually we should remove some builders. That way they go back to being a settler, and they could go out and do that. I put one more in fishing, actually. I really want to stock up on food before this next thing. Um, probably actually got one more here as well. You can see we're already kind of... I want to keep this number as, as uh, from going down, basically. Um, you could click on it and get some information as well. Oh, the jetty doesn't tell you. Sorry. Uh, here, I think. This is your production limit. Uh, in some cases, if you have a building that's actually producing something, like a workshop, uh, it'll actually tell you your um, uh, productivity percentage, like efficiency. So you can schedule, you know, that somehow i don't know build build better routes or whatever we got an alert here what is this build additional homes for houses for settlers i mean we're trying to work on that but we need what cloth ah that's right we need cloth okay so we need to build a recycler yeah see this is just a lot of things that you have to keep in mind and i noticed this during the uh uh during the tutorial uh i felt as if i was just uh constantly building new buildings there was a ton, there's like a ton of buildings. I don't, now it's been a long time. 2014 is the last time I uh, really religiously played uh, Banished. I did jump into there, I did jump in there and play a little bit, like maybe last year or something. Uh, just like kind of a revisit to see, you know, hey, what's going on, Banished? <laughs> now that it has like a bazillion mods. Um, boy, we're not gonna build any of this stuff. She's scrap, construction progress. Let's build this next though, because we can get the cloth going. The cloth will help us get uh, the settlers uh, some homes and then they'll be happier and they'll do more work. Oh, got a radiation issue, what's this? Building contains contains contaminated resources. Hmm. Let me see. I activated carbon mass radiation suit, scrap tool, metal tool. It must be. It doesn't show me what's in the building, does it? Let me see inventory. Here we go. It's probably food. I'm guessing. Ah, here we go. Berries. Oh, interesting. So there's some contaminated resources here. Low, low contamination. So I must have pulled it from somewhere out here that had some contamination. Ah, okay, right here. So yeah, this is uh, this is something that you should be. You know, paying attention to when you're uh, when you're out here and exploring and telling them to gather all this stuff up. Yeah, so we shouldn't gather berries from that location or gather anything from that location, really. Um, now there is ways to um, to like clean that stuff later. You'll discover. Oh, there's a lot of shit over here. Damn, gotta be careful. Let's go ahead and clear through all this stuff over here. And actually, it will tell you. You see on the on the mouse tooltip, it tells you what resources are in this area. So, you know, 250 food, 250, well, I want food, so there we go, that's a good spot. And that's actually pretty close as well. Um, let me see, well, I'm actually gonna go ahead and cancel this road that goes out, because it's taking too long to build it anyways. So, imagine how much time he's gonna dedicate just to getting it moving. Uh, but I will probably build a road that goes, yeah, we'll build a road that goes this way. And they will take shortcuts, or like, I don't know what shortcuts, but they will take paths. I had a road going all the way out here, 
and they were coming out here grabbing stuff and they were walking in the dirt to go back for some reason so I had to build a path from here to here on the side of this in order to get them to take the road it was really strange um, or it could just be the game knew that it was faster for some reason like some level some degree of of, uh, of time saved doing that cool so we have uh, food coming in we have water coming in we have let me see uh, we have uh, two builders four people gathering stuff there you go the two builders is probably not enough builders. Um, let's see what we're doing here. What we need? Wood scrap. Okay, this is cool. We're getting there. And then wood scrap, construction progress. This thing needs cloth. This thing's gonna get built and it's gonna make cloth. You can see there. You also see it does metal and it does plastic. And it can it can build that stuff. It's a recycler, right? So it's gonna take scrap and turn it into those things. Um, again, only two houses. That way, you know, we're only gonna have a certain number of new folks coming in. I don't know what the rate is. I feel like people get old super fast <laughs> and die super quickly. So I don't know. I feel like a kid goes from uh, you know being born to dying in probably maybe 16 seasons or something like that. So. Uh, <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to really gauge. Now, one th that's another thing I'll say. Um, you know, Banish gives you kind of direct access to the people very often, right? Like every time you click on a building, it would always tell you, you know, who lives there, which it does here as well. Um, but there was, I don't know, for some reason, there was like people's. I felt like people's names were more prominent in that because you 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 ended up getting more of a connection to those to those people. See, we got five kids now. Um, and I don't know if that's a, you know, maybe at the time I was just more paying attention to that or what. Uh, but in this game, it does feel like most of these are just numbers, you know, like they're just numbers or whatever. Not until you get down to the very end where you have somebody like Barb, uh, who survived my tutorial, uh, well after there were like, there was no other people around. Oh, somebody died. Oops, a kid died. Oh, grew up became an adult. Okay. You can see up at the very top. Uh, let me actually explain some of this UI stuff here. Um, so we have water, we have food, we have wood, we have scrap, we have tools, we have radiation protection, which could be masks, scarves, or radiation suits. We have medication, we have cloth, we have metal, we have plastic, we have electronics, and we have coal. Uh, then over here we have research knowledge, which we don't have a research center yet. I mean, we won't have, we won't have that for a very long time. Uh, we have adults, we have children, we have their happiness level, discontent, we have even temperedness, and we have contentedness. Uh, we have average radiation of all settlers, we have average health of all settlers, and we have rich food. Number of different types of food currently being stored in the settlement, provision of a large types of food together with herbs, and uh, keep settlers healthy and lowers the risk of outbreak disease. So, look at the bottom. We have all of our different uh, overlays I already showed you. We have the season number we're on. The the hash right here is basically where the season starts. So all this is weather coming up. Uh, and then right here is a drought. That's the season eight drought that I've been telling you about. So we are gonna hit that. So weather, time of day, you know, daytime, weekly contaminated rain. There's a lot of stuff you have to do in order to contend with contamination because it's everywhere. It's in everything. Um, let me see. That's pretty much it. Oh yeah, tasks. You're gonna occasionally have tasks that pop up, like the sellers pop up and say, "Hey, chief, something, 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 something." And you go, "Okay, sure," and it gives you a task, and you get like a little bonus at the end of that task, which is kind of cool. Uh, I see water, food. We're doing better than I was the first time, uh, or the well, the first and second time, I should say, because we have a little bit of a balance going here. We're collecting resources over here, berries and such. Um, we have a couple seasons left, so and we have five uh, settlers, so maybe we will actually throw out a uh, a hunting lodge just to get some extra extra food and such. Let's try and line it up with the uh, road because we'll eventually we will attach it. Another, one cool feature that I like about this, I don't think this, and I'm, again, I'm going to keep saying like, oh, I don't think this is a Banish feature or whatever because it's been a while, but there's a million mods for Banish, so. Um, but one thing I like about, about uh, Endzone is that you can change your field of work. So, for example, this out here, right? This is the field of work, right? I could click on this. And I can move it to wherever I want, and that's going to be their new field of work. Uh, and what that means is, like for example, the cistern. Uh, if the cistern right now is working off of this this dock, and maybe maybe for some reason I wanted to move it somewhere else, you know, maybe maybe not necessarily move this, but maybe I wanted it to not pull water from this dock for some reason. Maybe if this water becomes contaminated or something like that, I'm not sure if that's even a thing. Um, 
Did they need cloth? Oh, that's right. I don't have any recyclers. Whoops. Recycler one. There we go. He'll be able to make cloth and then we'll get that thing finished and then we're going to have shelter. Cool. Um, I can click on this and change it so it's only going to pull from a certain other area. Now, the same thing for water points. If I build a water point where, like, maybe I build a water point over here so people don't have to go all the way down here to get water, um, I can click on it and tell it where to pull water from by just having a little change change uh, a source or whatever and I could choose some other area so a very cool way of and it works here too you see how this is like there's a lot of waste space here you know so when this is built I could just take this whole circle and shift it out a little bit so that way it focuses more of, of uh, what's uh, what's out here now hunting lodge um, maybe it might be a good idea to uh, we have a couple seasons left here to build a ranch we get that started a pasture animals can be kept in a pasture We'll put it right here in the middle. There we go. What does it need? Metal. Ooh, we gotta build another recycler. See? Ooh, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And we could, we could, we could build a, uh, or do our 10 that we need here for this, and then sh shift the workload. But you are gonna have more than one recycler. This is not your... <laughs> you, you do, the work does not stop there with one recycler. That is for damn sure. Let's see, five, two builders. Let's see, a hunter and a herder. We'll do one and one. We're running low on our on our basic settlers here. Uh, our food is okay. I mean, our scrap is terrible right now, but we have lots of close by scrap, so we'll be able to turn around and, uh, and snatch that up pretty quickly. We'll build a scrap collector and then go from there. So the shelter is pretty nice because you can sh you can change it if you want to have all settlers just old and infertile, which is a great way to kind of clear out some houses if you plan on blowing up your uh, your population, which I would not recommend doing <laughs> at all. Um, we see young adult. We have adults, young adults. Cool. Just keep popping out them kids, dude. Go, go, go. It, the maximum was what? Yeah, capacity is five. So they're only going to get to five. But I guess they'll probably... They probably have a few rounds of kids in them. You know, like one will... Uh, uh, one kid will grow up and they'll be like, Hey, we got an extra slot. Let's go ahead and just... Bow, chicka, bow, wow. And get done. Let's see. It's got a question mark. Why? Needs wild boar and goats. I was hoping there'd be some out here, actually. Let me see. Change field of work. Way out there. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see the highlight. That's really far, by the way, by this game's standards. Oh, here we go. And then we're going to have them cut and capture. So we get a little bit of food. We get a little bit of... For the pasture. We need metal. We need this. Build this next. Next. Metal. And then we'll put another refiner in there. Good. Okay. How's our scrap collectors going? Oh, where'd it go? Did they finish the job? I don't think so. There's definitely a lot out there still. Um, there's a bunch of scrap right here. Let's go and see if we can pick up some of the scrap. All the two people that are left. So tasks. Scrap. Yeah, some of this close by scrap. We got a storehouse right here, so it should be pretty quick. Cloth, wood. I don't want to see some scrap popping in there too. Unless they take it right there. Uh, scrap. Cool. Water is doing great. Food is actually doing better than yeah. So I I'm, I feel like I'm I'm in a better position now going into this drought. If I survive this drought, I'll be very pleased. <laughs> it means I can survive anything. Okay, we have two. We have recycler, we have metal, and one for cloth. I'm not gonna worry about plastic just yet. I don't need plastic for anything. So metal. It, they build, they make it pretty quickly once they get the scrap. So scraps moving in right here. You can see the line showing where that where they're pulling a the scrap from. Um, and then they go they throw it in there. Now there are stats like you know just because I can't have everything up on the screen all at once doesn't necessarily mean that I don't have the 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 means to to see, view all this data. The data is all here if I want to actually view it. Uh, this is my favorite part of, uh, of oxygen included actually is to be able to go through and see kind of like where things are trending. Um, and I think right now we're doing okay. See, children, total population, adults. So nobody is at old age yet. So we have 15 adults. Okay, so we're, we're keeping a moderate amount of kids. Uh, population is slowly growing. It will explode if you build everybody a cabin. I promise you, if everybody has a cabin, they will fuck each other's brains out and just start popping out kids like crazy. So please, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. 
This is the age distribution. Great. Seller health distribution. Seller confidence. Fine. 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 Look at all this stuff. Education. You have to. You have to actually train these people. You build a house or build a, a, a school, and you have to train them to be able to use. And you could choose. It's like uh, use tools better. Use clothing better. Use. Uh, this is like so many different things. And it's like, oh my gosh, can we please just like send them to twelve? You know, six years of school and teach them everything. A little bit of everything. You can't do that. You have to, I think you have to build like multiple schools or something. <laughs> Everybody has to have a special a specialty, but it is the post-apocalyptic so scenario. So maybe I'm not even gonna bother school today. Let me see. Go ahead, keep going. Uh, I'm just gonna build a. Let me see. I need um uh, 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 a workshop because they, they have to start turning this material into usable items. I'll leave a gap here. So how are we doing on scrap? Scrap. Good. In stock 32. Beautiful. Good. It's going. And that means this is going to get metal. Great. So this is done. We have lots of people living there. Nobody's homeless. And we have plenty of room as well. So good. Only these two. And when they get old, hopefully, hopefully they move out. <laughs> hopefully they move out. Make room for another family. Get in there and start popping out kids. Look at this road that's never going to get built. <laughs> You see how they keep like shuffling around and everything? They'd be going so much faster if they built a road. <laughs> let's see. Uh, three, I have two. Okay. Let's, so these three sellers are probably not doing anything. We can actually see where they're at. We see Oscar, uh, Guilia, and, uh, or is it was Julia actually, and Laura, and requested sellers for this profession. Steven. Steven wants the easy work. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, Steven. Uh, let me see. So 108 meters between home and work. So we can see where they work, which is at this location here. But there's nothing here to do. Um, let me see. Right? You see. Needs ruins. Cool. We'll change the field of work. Go out here. Go out here and get some, get some, get you some ruins. There we go. Plenty out here. Go get them, kids. Yeah, it's kind of probably contributing to my... Yeah, okay, there we go. Reserved in stock. Good. This is being built, which means we should start getting some... Let me see. How's this guy doing? There's some... Yeah, some out here. Okay. Hunting and capturing. We need food and we need... Let me see. Pasture. One workforce. Type of animal. Shelter. Let's see. Choose type of animal. But we don't have any. Um, yeah, we have none. So... What do they do with it, actually, in the meantime? I wonder. How do we just go right to capture? Now there's nothing over there, so we'll probably get an error once he walks out of this zone. I think. Okay, maybe once he gets home, I'll probably say that he needs needs boar, needs something. Unless actually, it looks like he's he's pulling something here. Oh, look at that! We got one coming in. Great. Now the question is, by this game's logic, do I need two in order to reproduce? Oh, he's gonna murder him right there. Two type of animal. There we go. One boar. Two type of animal. Bam. Okay. So now I'll switch this guy to just capture and let's change his field of work. Let's hunt, 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 looking, 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 looking. Ah, there we go. Okay, speed things up. We're getting to the drought. Get into the big drought. We have lots of food. What are my, uh, holes? I have my, my scrap collectors. Let's check what they're doing here. Collect a scrap. Fantastic. Let me give them another task here. Uh, gather plants from this area. Good. Just food. Just straight up food. How much food? We see 300. I don't know if all this is going to be enough. You know, after all this work, I don't know if this is going to be enough. Our 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 uh, protection is going down as well. We need this guy to build. Um, oh, we need a tailor, not this. Let's cancel that. I want a tailor first. These guys can work with their bare hands. <laughs> they can work with their bare hands for now. Tailor shop is what I need. There you go. Now, power grid is something that you do want to eventually make. Um, because it does improve the efficiency. What's this guy's problem? Uh, it's running low. Oh, storage. Oh, okay. That's good news, actually, that we're actually, that we're running out of, uh, uh, space there. Um, because if it's topped off, then that should be enough water to get us through the, uh, through the thing. I should be able to probably build another one? Let me see. We have a whole season here, and it's raining. Uh, hold on, which means maybe we can... If we quickly build a rain collector, I need plastic. Yeah, no, I can't do that. That's not gonna happen. A well produces water slowly even during droughts. Wells are built close together, uh, too close together. Negative impact in the rips. Yeah, maybe we should build one of these. Actually, let's build that. I don't know if I built one of these in the um, 
Gosh, I don't think I did in in the tutorial. We'll put it on the back side here. Okay, so we need we need the, the clothes, but let's go ahead and help this build next. That way it's ready for the season. This thing's gonna be topped off soon, which means these water boys here can move on to something else. What do we have here? A tailor, no tailor, one tailor. One well keeper, one well cleaver, there we go, okay, so... By this point I had like 20, like 20 something adults, so... Doing this kind of birth control really works. Really, really works. Oh, my road is done. Oh, except for this back end here, which is fine, I guess. Okay, how we doing here? One boar. Wild boar. Okay, I guess he's not gonna reproduce on his own. Hold on a second, he got some- Oh, look at this! Oh, we brought you a honey! We brought you a honey! Get in there. Oh, there we go. Now reproduce! <laughs> okay, you can go back to hunting. <laughs> we need you to hunt now. Uh, let's see. Just hunt, let them reproduce, change the field of work. Oh, there's some more out there. Cool. Get that before this season. Here it comes, here comes the drought. Now watch the, watch the, uh, let me zoom out as best I can here. Let me close some of these windows. Okay, now, as the season comes in, everything dries out. We could view the moisture here. Oops, moisture. You can see the water, the water basically fading away in the corners there. And now we're living off of, um, well, basically, <laughs> whatever we have available to us, uh, which is going to be this well. Let's see. I look at that water tank full. We're good on water, I think. This is still filling up. Fantastic. And this guy is going to make next scarves I'll keep them somewhat protected temporarily you can see this is for any kind of any kind of radiation protection is better than none um and then we'll get build we have three oh, already dang you guys are quick you boys are quick Woo! got the road finished here oh man we're getting stuff done now because there's no water there's no point in having anybody fishing there's no point in having anybody collecting water so we have a lot of water boys and such they're just basically <laughs> doing nothing. Uh, hold on a second. Where is? Oh, okay, I thought I saw some just chilling there. Let's see, water carrier, 93 meters. The Eve. You guys are just out there fucking flapping. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Okay, so we're we're gonna do is we're gonna actually remove them from this profession, and then we're gonna put them into the well keepers. Fine. No more fishermen. Hunter, probably nothing going on with hunters. Let's go ahead and increase the herders. Keep those guys satisfied. Satisfied. Boom, and then we will uh, go back to collecting scrap. And what? Maybe wood. Let's see. Oh, there it is right there. So we'll take a gather scrap, change field of work. There you go, some scrap out here. You guys, actually, there's some scrap out over here too. Let me see. I'm trying to place close, place places close by. Now, there's a lot of things I've not shown you guys because we just haven't gotten there yet. Um, I'm not seeing the highlight on this. This is 13. 34, 32. There's still a lot out here, actually. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's like seriously so, 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 so much. Yeah, there's basically nothing left. No plants, so they could cancel this one. Um, so many different things you could build. So many different ways you could tie into different buildings and everything. This is seriously, we're just getting started. We are just, we if we survive this drought with nobody dying, uh, well, just survive the drought, period. Um, then we are in excellent shape. Excellent shape. I'm actually going to go ahead and build, uh, let's see, resources. Let's see, uh, workshop. Then I can build some actual tools. So we'll put this guy out here next to this. There we go. Let's see, water tank level is good. Water, yeah, the, the well is great. Workshop's going to get built. They can make some scrap tools. We can make metal tools, but we don't really have a lot of metal, so we don't want to do that. We'll scrap tools. If they break sooner, then fine. We'll make some more. We will have to change that quickly. Because uh, eventually you get to the point where you're constantly making tools and constantly making tools, and you just feel like it's just non-stop. Yeah, we got to put a guy on that job, though. There you go. Oh, the fish. Oops. Uh, let's see. Technician. Season 9, not one death. Woo woo, only took three tries. <laughs> only took three tries, baby. Ah, <sighs> man. Okay, so. <sighs> right now, I am like, I'm into it. Right? I'm into it. These little wins, these little wins, these little victories are great. I'm going to save it right here as well. 
we're gonna call it, uh, we'll call it, let me see option, just enter description, so we'll say Whitey for YouTube. And, um, and I feel like, okay, yeah, this is a milestone. We've survived our first drought. You'll see the water is gonna come back in just a minute. And now we can continue to expand slowly. The big, the key things are obviously, you know, wa water, water, food, of course. Oh, what is this over here? Do I have, do I, let's see. Oh, we have plenty. Um, oh, hold on, I'm a hunting boy. Let me see, hunting, what you got? Oh, he's still doing, okay, he's doing work, that's fine. I guess we have to murder every little boar family that comes through. Um, but the key thing is hitting, is, is, is hitting your goals with, um, with water, food, and uh, radiation. So protection for radiation. He's already at 14 now, so I'm doing good there. Tools are coming up, which is good. We'll keep the tools moving up uh, once, uh, well, they're not moving yet, but they will be as soon as this thing is done, which it is. Now he's making tools out of scrap. The next thing I'll make is a scrap yard. Uh, the scrap yard is going to uh, allow me to collect a ton of scrap from all kinds of areas. We'll go and set this guy up way over here. And then we'll just once once it's done, we'll just send it uh, change the area to wherever we need the scrap to be collected from. Scrap collector. Um, we the I I would say the most important thing, the absolute most important thing, and this is true of any of these city builder type games, Austin not included, and, and Banish, which are the two I played the most thousands of hours, <laughs> um, is population. So, yeah, building a shelter so that these guys don't sit there and just, like, you know, pop out kids. And then, you know, moving on is letting, you know, these populate uh, slowly as kind of like your, this is like your trickle out. Where you're just trickling out more. And if maybe if I felt like, you know, I'm not growing as quickly as I need to because I'm not now, I'm not really sitting on a whole lot of people to divvy up with all these different positions that I have. It was fine before when I had, you know, uh only a handful of jobs but now I have a rancher now I have a recycler two recyclers I have a well boy I have water boys I have I have fishing girls I have <laughs> I have workshop I have I have a tailor shop and I have a scrap yard like I have a lot of jobs I need some more bodies and so this is what I would decide okay let's go ahead and build another house and we'll put another house out here and we'll put it right across the street uh, and we'll just build one. I would like to build two, just do, 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 just real quick. But I'll just build one, and and that will uh, uh, hopefully just just increase my production of of uh, of labor <laughs> more quickly. Oh, beautiful rains coming in, and we're at season. I mean, we're approaching season ten, and we're good. We're good. Ten seasons, solid. Rain, 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 lots of rain coming in. So we, we maybe make some plastic, maybe make some rain collectors, and then we could go from there. So, oh. guys, this is end zone, a world apart. It's ex exiting early access um, today when you see this video. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, wait, see so your release date. Oh, no, no, that's the old release date. I'll look at the old release date here. But um, yeah, it is, it is a solid. It's, a, it's and I say that shakily because I still need to put more time into it. But so far, it seems solid. Some of the reviews feels like you're not good at this kind of game, right? Some of them. But then there's a really long and well-written review where he talks about you feeling he's feeling rushed, he's feeling like you're constantly doing stuff, and that one I can relate to. That one I can relate to. Maybe it's not supposed to be a relaxing city builder like Banished is, with moments of chaos. Maybe it's supposed to keep you on your toes all the time. Uh, maybe it's supposed to be more like a like a like an RTS than it is supposed to be a you know a slow slow churn city builder. Um, but I am gonna make some more videos on this. Uh, because I want to, I want to get in, I want to play, and, and, and I want to experience more. And if you guys want to follow up, uh, just check out some of those as I put them out. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike BAK Phony. You can pick up Endzone A World Apart on Steam for $23.99. Uh, I didn't mention the soundtrack. The soundtrack's really solid too. You've been listening to it the whole time. A little bit of future bass, a little bit of this kind of like ambient kind of stuff. Uh, kind of more slow, slow build. Uh, I'm really digging it really digging it. So that's it. Have a good one. I'll see you guys.